Good morning, TK friends. It's Mrs. Moores and Honey, and we have another drawing and writing lesson for you today. So I've got my paper ready and my marker, and today we are going to write and draw about frogs. <laughs> I like frogs, okay? So I'm gonna take my marker. Our sentence will be, I can see the frog go. Can you say that with me? I can see the frog go. There's lots of our sight words in that sentence. That's why I chose those words to write today. So first things first, we're gonna do our capital I. Start at the top, straight line down, and cross at the top and cross at the bottom. We have I, then I'm gonna put a finger space. The next word is can, k, k. That's our sight word, can, C-A-N. We're gonna write can, C. These are all lowercase letters, then our A, and then N. I can, that's right, the next word is C. I can, C. I'm gonna have another finger space. How do we spell C, boys and girls? S-E-E. -E. It's our S. And then when we do an E, hit the ball, run around the bases. Oh, and one more. Hit the ball, run around the bases. I can see. The next word is the. I know everybody knows how to spell the. T. H E. I think I heard some of you singing our the song. <laughs> I can see the. Now the next word is frog, and that is a word we can sound out together. Everybody take your arm and say frog, frog. Now let's sound frog. 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 What was that first sound in frog? That's right, it's the letter F. Remember to start at the top with the letter F. Perfect. Now let's sound the second sound in frog. That's right, it is the letter R. I'm gonna do a lowercase r. Ah, uh, that's right, boys and girls, it's the letter O. Frog, g, and that is a G. It's gonna be a lowercase g. You start at the plane line all the way down into the worm line. And now we have the word frog. I can see the frog. I'm gonna have a finger space and we're gonna write the word go. G, 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 O. And you know what, before you do anything at the end, this is an exciting sentence because that frog is jumping around like crazy. I can see the frog go. That's right, boys and girls, we're gonna put an exclamation mark because we're so excited to see that froggy go. I can see the frog go. You know what I'm gonna do today, boys and girls? I'm gonna take a yellow and I'm gonna underline all of our sight words. Can we count our sight words together? Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. We have five. Two, three, four, Five. Awesome, friends. Okay, now I'm gonna get a green and we're gonna work on our frog. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is towards the middle of our paper, you're gonna draw two circles. And they're kind of, kind of small, not too big. And my circles are touching. Okay, those are gonna be his eyeballs. Okay, and I'm gonna draw another smaller circle on the inside 
of those circles. You don't have to use green, boys and girls. If you have a pencil, that's just fine. So those are our frog's eyes. The next part, we're gonna draw his body. And they're gonna be part way on his eyeballs. And this is a little big, not too big. Okay, and it's like an oval from one eyeball to the other. I did not go all the way at the bottom. Okay, I have some room there. The next part is I'm gonna give him a smiley face. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> okay, and after that, I'm gonna draw two loops coming out of the sides, okay? It's almost like he has little wings, but it's gonna be a frog, I promise. Okay, the next part is now I have little skinny loops coming out, okay? These are a little skinnier. Yep, and those are gonna be his legs. Now the next part is he has two little feet coming out of the front. This is, look, I did two lines and that's for one leg. I'm gonna do two lines over here and that's part of his other leg. And then I'm gonna start at one side and do little fingers, one, two, three. And then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. One, two, three. Okay, and you know what? This frog is a little spotted. So what I'm gonna do is start on his legs and I'm gonna draw little circles. Some are big, some are little. They're gonna be all different sizes. Okay, it's gonna be on his legs, on his belly. He's a speckled frog, just like the song. And if you want, you have room, you could put him on a log, just like those speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log. <laughs> okay, lots of little speckles on our frog. And there you go, boys and girls. You can color him, you can make him in a swamp if you want, or put him in a tree. I can see the frog go. He's a happy jumping frog. Boys and girls, I miss you all so much, and I love you, and I hope you enjoyed making frogs with me today. Bye.